the matter, Kilo? Are you guys giving up on that fly? Here comes to it. Huh? You guys giving up on that fly? Can't find it? Hi, dude. Good morning. Huh? Gave up on it, huh? Apparently there's a fly loose in my son's house here. Uh, I just took them for a walk. All three of them. Where's Flex? How do you lose a 90 pound dog? Anyways, I just took all three of these guys for a walk. That's weird, I lost a 90 pound dog. And apparently a fly must have came in the house when we came back inside. Flex, where are you, bud? Hey! When a dog that size is quiet, that means he's up to something. Hey! Oh. What are you doing in there? Showing the mess I'm making in the sun spare room. Okay, well, as long as you're quiet, I guess. So I took them for a walk. And they've been chasing the fly for the past 10, 15 minutes. I guess I gave up on them. I can hear it, but I can't see it. But it's around here somewhere. I guess I gave up on it. The weather here for the past couple days has been awesome. It's been in the 90s. It's 96 now, and it's still morning. And uh, it was in the 90s yesterday, too. In fact, yesterday, my son has a real cool looking car. Let me show you. But yesterday, I actually pulled this car out, waxed it, and detailed it. It's not the kind of car I would own, but it is a nice car. I don't fit in it very well because uh, my chubbiness, that's a word, right? Chubbiness. Because when I get in that thing, my stomach is literally up into uh, my rib cage. Because I'm five foot six to 200 pounds. I can't fit in that thing is. It's a Nissan 350Z? Three, four, I don't know. I mean, I'm not in, really into imports. He's into that Fast and the Furious type cars. I'm not. I like the Roadrunners, Camaros, Chevelles type thing. Come here, dude. Let's go inside. It's hot out here. So I'm enjoying the hot weather here. I'm actually enjoying the central air, I guess you can see, to be honest with you. Because I know I'm not going to have this luxury when we get to the Philippines. Like I said, it's 90. Oh, I just saw the fly. There it is. It's 96 right now. But I'm actually enjoying this central air because I know I'm not going to have that when I get, get home. Looked at the calendar this morning. And we're down to a week. It's actually Friday now. We leave next Friday. Uh, I just put my hand in the way of the lens. Sorry about that, guys. We leave next Friday. In fact, these guys actually leave next Thursday. I took them to the vet two days ago for their final, for their health certificate. Sent that off to the USDA, uh, the company that I hired to fly these guys out. Contacted me, the USDA office, did get it yesterday, got approved, so all that's done. Um, I'm supposed to get contacted by the, uh, their point of contact here where we're at, and they're supposed to come here, um, pick them up here at my son's house, take them to the airport. They, literally, the company I hire is doing everything. I mean, you're paying for the service. It's not cheap. And I hear about it on a daily basis from my wife, and if it comes up in a conversation from one of our friends who finds out we're moving to the Philippines and retiring there, it's one of the first things that they ask, oh, you're taking the dogs with you? And when I say yes, I'm always like, oh, yeah, and they paid, which I'm not going to mention, but it does come up, and I'm pretty sure it's going to come up for the next few years. Because she keeps telling me she could buy me thousands of dogs in the Philippines for what I'm paying for these guys to fly there. But I can't give them up. Like I said, Kilo, he was my over-the-road trucking buddy. When I was an over-the-road truck driver for a few years, he was with me for a few years out of those 13 years. And dude, he's actually Kilo's son. He belongs to my youngest, and dude belongs to my youngest son who's in the Navy. And since he's on a ship, he can't take care of him, so we promised we would. But uh, Kilo used to belong to my son who lives here. Uh, he had an apartment before a few years ago, and he moved back in with us. 
and he had Kilo. Kilo was actually a puppy at that time. Kilo's five now. Uh, and I had a miniature dachshund, which she's still alive. I gave her to my mother. But she was five years old at that time, and neither one were fixed. I didn't know Kilo wasn't fixed. But Kilo got my dachshund pregnant, and they had five puppies. And they all survived, and we kept one, which is Dude. And uh, that's where they came about. And my mother has a vow, because of her age, she's 10 years old now. I didn't think she would survive the airline flight to the Philippines that was a hard thing to give up because I've had Val since she was two months old and she's now 10 but I told my mom you know how much she means to me and I don't I didn't really threaten her but uh, she knows if anything happens I'll probably be the next flight back to the states so she knows how much she means to me but she's in good hands my mom will take care of her so there, everything's ready for them they'll be picked up on Thursday and uh, we'll be good I didn't make a video yesterday because I was kind of pouting, I guess you could say, if you, if you didn't notice. I don't know if I should have brought it up. My wife colored my hair two days ago. I'm 49 years old. I have gray hair and I like my gray hair. I'm not supposed to have colored hair. But she's trying to make me presentable to go home. I haven't seen some family in over 20 years and some family I haven't met at all. Like, I've met most of my wife's sisters. There's a few that I met. My wife's the youngest of 10 kids. She's the baby of 10 children. I've met, I believe, three of her sisters. There's two that I haven't met. And I've met none of her brothers. Um, so she's trying to get me presentable. I've, and, of course, I've met mom and dad. Uh, like I said, dad passed away last year, which sucks because me and him are pretty close. He was my little buddy. Uh, every time I Skyped, we always talked. He sang to me. So I was kind of pissed or saddened that I didn't get to see him before he passed away. But I will visit him probably on a weekly basis when I get home. But her mom's still around. She's still spunky as ever. In fact, her birthday is uh, next month. So we're, we're going to be glad we're going to be home before her birthday. I know my, mom, my wife and all the families will be planning a big party for her. She's going to be 92, I believe. So that's going to be good. But that's why my wife colored my hair. And uh, so I kind of didn't throw a fit but I was pouting about it because I, I don't want colored hair but that's the way it goes you know you're married and pretty much do what your wife says it'll get gray again so anyway also I noticed uh, I got an email from someone who watched my video and I didn't know you can email people I just thought you could leave comments on the bottom but someone emailed me telling me uh, that we'll notice that we're going to be going in the same area as a uh, uh, Mike, I know his name is Mike, and I believe he calls his channel My Philippine Journey. Uh, and he, I should have checked. I, I watch his videos all the time. Uh, his videos are interesting to watch. I'm learning. I do learn a lot of stuff. Like I said, I haven't been home in the since the 90s. He's been in the Philippines for a few years now. Um, but someone mentioned that we're going to be uh, going to the same place as that he's at, and that's true. We are. We're going to be going to Iloilo. Um, my wife's from Dingley, so that's where our house is. And uh, I guess the person we emailed me asked if we're gonna if we're gonna meet up. And I actually did mention to Mike that we are going to Iloilo, and I hope we do cross paths. Um, the difference between me and Mike, I think, are is uh, like I said, I'm married. I've been married for a long time. Kids are all grown up, and I'm a homebody type person. Um, like I said, me being here with the dogs and watching my son's house, that's not a punishment to me. I like doing this. Like I said, I traveled for 20 years in the Navy. I traveled for 13 years being an over-the-road truck driver. So the traveling thing, I'm not really into that. My wife is, on the other hand, so we will be doing some traveling, and I will be bringing the camera with me. But it's going to be one of those things. Uh, I rather, I'll rather i probably be doing a lot of videos of the family, of the house, around that area, and, you know, because that's what I like. And I will be, but like I said, Mike, on the other hand, he does do it. He's single. Uh, so he, his places of uh, entertainment and my places of entertainment will be different. Mine will be more towards family and friends type thing. And his is like going to different locations, which is awesome. That's, you know, that's why I watch his videos because he shows all these cool locations in Iloilo. And Iloilo is a beautiful city, a beautiful town. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, living there. 
but yeah, uh, I did mention to Mike that uh, that we're going to be going there, and he did, and he responds quickly to his comments. Uh, that you know, he hopes that we cross paths, and I hope so too. Uh, you know, we'll probably meet up. So that'd be cool. But yeah, I didn't know you guys can email that, that people on uh, YouTube. So that was a first for me. And yes, uh, we I did I do know that we're going to be going to. I did mention to Mike that we're going to be going to Italy. So that is cool. And like I said, I'm sure we will meet up. But like I said, him being single and him uh, and me being married, you know, our type of environments are, are different. Like I said, I don't do the, uh, the I don't go out going to clubs or entertainment, stuff like that. I don't even really go out and eat that much. Uh, like I said, I'm the only 200 pound vegetarian that I know. Uh, I used to be 250 pounds and, uh, you know, being over a truck driver, you sit behind a seat for 10 to 13 hours a day you, and you eat truck, truck truck stop food and stuff like that. You gain weight. When I retired from the Navy, I weighed 180 pounds. Like I said, I'm 200 now, but I was up to 250 three years ago. And like I said, when I did my, you got to get a physical done every year as a truck driver. And when I got my physical done, you know, they pretty much told me, hey, you know, you need to do something yeah, at your height at five foot six at your weight. You know, that's not a good thing. And it wasn't. You know, I couldn't. I was having a hard time breathing and going up and down stairs and stuff like that. So he said I had to cut down on my meat, uh, and you know, red meat intake. I did eat a lot of hot dogs, hamburgers, and steaks and stuff like that. So instead of me cutting down, I just basically cut it out. So I haven't eaten meat in three years, and I've lost 50 pounds. I'm down to 200 now, and that's still not where I should be. That's still too big for a guy my height. If I get down to 180, that's the way the, or the weight I was when I retired. That'd be awesome. You know, when I got married, I was actually 135, and my wife was 90. So I'm not gonna mention my wife's name, uh, height rather, weight. I'll get it right. I ain't gonna mention my wife's weight because that's not a nice thing. But she's not big like me. Um, she's still young looking, and she actually is older than I am. But I guess that's a woman thing and a guy thing. So. Alrighty then, I just wanted to check in and let you all know what's going on. We're down to seven days. So, talk to you guys later.